victim of early years misman mismanagement of time and uh, it really affected his academic performance at his uh, primary up to class 4 in secondary school so to speak when he now realized himself through a friend that introduced him on how to sit down and read and with that passion he had in those days that if not for somebody that told him what made him to sit down and begin to study he would have lost it in life and God helped him he listened and took to that advice and he's a medical doctor today so he has his passion to make sure that no child is wasted by not being properly cancelled or mentored by those who have gone through the same route so that was the genesis of the foundation and I can tell you that he's been to over 1,000 schools in this nation, both federal, private and all that, and he has made impact. Dr. Ken Carter for the information you gave to us. It's very nice. I also like to thank him as my mentor. The Dr. Ken took the training on how to be a great student, which cut across so many aspects of the training, like sitting down to read, like becoming disciplined, a disciplined student, and even the medical aspect that shows that where what happens to the part of the brain that all the vices, all the addictions of internet, watching of home video, television, telephone, what it does to a child that is not reading and what children that read, how it affects them. So he took the student through all that route and I tell you honestly, the students were, were, were really delighted that they came. And on that phase, it, I only took the second part, which has to do with my field as an ex-banker and, and the management of financial consultants. I took them on financial discipline. How you can begin from now to think of how to be financially disciplined as a youth, as you grow up. If you form this habit today, they can never leave you. So we need to cut them young. And I'm sure the equally girl got back to you when you interviewed them what they learned on how to manage their resources and all the investment opportunities that they, that they have available, especially the entrepreneurial skill that they, they as students can use now to begin to make money, which is being taught in school. And most of them joke today because they felt nobody has told them of the importance of what they can make out of the building and all whatever skills that they are being taught in school. But my passion is that I like to see lives transformed. And if you look at the program we are running, this sit down and read. There are three aspects of this program. We have the social, we have the educational, we have the medical. And at the end of each of these training, the highlight of the training for me is at the point we call these children to pray with them and for them so that they, these addictions and vices can leave them and their brain will be freed to be able to concentrate on their studies. You find out that you see children weeping, you see parents weeping because they are so broken and until you get broken, you can never live here any bad habits. So you can see that you have really taught their lives by all the things that they have been taught and the opportunity of being changed is like an automatic thing and that's what just gives me joy most times when we go for this training that students automatically change. What parents must have been crying over for years we didn't have any hours, you see, children change because they just had the right thing they needed to hear and at the right time. And you have seen testimonies of children that move, move from the back of the class, that is taking position from the back to the front. I have so many around me, including my niece. So what we are saying is that it's a very life transforming system or training that every child and every parent needs to witness or need to attend. That can see the difference of what knowledge can do to your life and your future and your system.
to becoming a great teacher. The moment you become a great teacher, ladies and gentlemen, there is transformation in the class. There is transformation in the school. There is transformation in the home where you are coming from. Teaching becomes interesting. Teaching becomes fulfilling. You begin to get the joy and the benefits of what teaching is all about. I repeat again, if I have the privilege to come back to this world again, I will not take any other profession. I will still be a teacher. I'm a medical doctor but by training. I teach. I teach. In the hospital, I teach. Anywhere I find myself, I teach. I want my children. I teach up to today. an impact in my life because I learned so many things today. How to be a good teacher and how to be a great teacher. Well, my experience with Dr. Genkata today is very, very inspiring. The lesson we got today is informative, it's revealing, and very, very interesting. He told us so many things, so many life experiences. They taught us how to relate with our students to make them the real future of tomorrow. It was encouraging. Dr. King Katas is a great man. I feel very, very happy and pleased for being here. Yeah, I would like to thank them for organizing this kind of workshop for the teachers. And they will be doing it periodically. It's very, very interesting. They will be doing it for us. We like it. It's good. We learned a lot from it. to show them the stuff we have and what they can gain. And as a matter of fact, what we're expecting from Anambra State Government is to give us, even if it's these 50 pilot schools that will attend that training, give us these schools, let's move in there, train the students, train the teachers, look at their results before our training and check out the outputs after our training. With that, I'm sure the educational system in Anambra will be turned around and all the woes and and all the cry that government and parents and teachers are crying about students in discipline, not sitting down to read, not passing exams without the exam and practice and all that. You see that the students become more confident and they can write. You know, it's, it's so disheartening that when you see people apply for jobs, they, they cannot even write an application work because they have to want some of them to do and all that very high, very good grades. They put it in writing because of exam and practice. They pass with expo or whatever it's called. So we are trying to build greater leaders for the future. Now what is happening today in Nigeria or not? Sincerely I must say that this program is worth paying. Your name? My name is Dr. Samuel Isweibu from CSS Lawrence Canada. I got that so came because I'm a teacher of English. I came. When I came, I now saw a catas. I was very happy because my children, he has taught my children in their various schools and they come back with changed attitude towards studies. So I know I desire to see him, to meet with him one just to see the person because my children talk so much good about him. And when I came, all that he has taught me has improved me. Him so much. I will make an appeal if it is possible. Let this program be done for all teachers in a number of states. It is better everybody gets the first hand information. Here. Thank you very much. I am bidding and I wish that I will be one of those people that will come during long back to partake of the lecture that is planned.
strong passion for Anambra because it's our home state. They say charity begins at home. Dr. Kenketa is from Anambra, I'm from Anambra. So whatever you are, whatever you have, you should start from your home then to outside. And I'm sure if we're able to penetrate Anambra, we'll receive calls after the first training. But the issue is that because some of these things can be captured intensive, the teachers and the priorities are not right. Our priorities are not right in the society here today. Instead of somebody to go and pay 5000 to acquire knowledge and training, they would rather use that money to do something else. So we're trying to enforce this through government uh, support. So if the government can help us, you know, to pay for us to come and take these uh, students and teachers through what we have, I'm sure it will pay off on the long run for both the government, the schools and teachers and students. As a maker, Olisa. Ben, Chairman of Anambra State Universal Basic Education Board. Okay. To the best of my knowledge that this program is successful, uh, bearing in mind that the uh, target is to see how our students can sit down and read and uh, try to manage the distractions that have affected their reading culture and thereafter the, the academic performances. So what this program is intended to achieve is to let them settle down read for their future. I want to believe too that those of them who have lost confidence in themselves with respect to writing exams in their schools will uh, have uh, a change of heart. On the part of the teachers, a lot have been exposed and uh, all we are asking them is to be passionate on what they are doing, have a good vision so that um, they, they, they derive a, a good mission to enable us to achieve this uh, intended uh, performances. Well, let me thank the Kenketa's uh, Foundation for this wonderful opportunity given to an Aquarius. I want to pledge on behalf of the participants that uh, we are going to ensure that uh, we don't disappoint you. Uh, all we are trying to do is to build these children for a better tomorrow. And uh, God willing to, we'll be able to achieve this. I will uh, please request you to keep monitoring us. One person is perfect. Areas we've not done well, we will continue to improve on that. If at the end of the day, the intended uh, the results are Achieved. Then this uh, period is not a waste of time. I thank all the, those of you who are committed to this. Thank all those that have sponsored this program and uh, enabled us to achieve this much. And I remain grateful. And on behalf of the Governor of the State, uh, Chief Dr. Mulia Diago, for Edited, and the Commissioner for Education. Professor K. Tenyan Nandra, uh, I want to say thank you for coming. We will uh, continue to uh, deal with you. And uh, let me say we are not going to leave you at all until uh, we get to the end of this uh, edition. Thank you. My sincere gratitude goes to the chairman of the Universal Basic Education and Abra State, Uzemeka Ulisa, popularly known as Uko Sisi, who is the chairman of the Universal Basic Education Board, who single-handedly took a decision to invite us to come and showcase what will happen to the teachers and the students of Anambra State. It takes a man with a passion and a vision because if you don't have passion and ambition, you will not appreciate what we're doing. So he had that passion or he has that passion and the vision to make sure that the students and teachers that are under his management get the best in Anambra State. I equally want to appreciate the Honorable Commissioner for Education in Anambra State, 
Professor Mrs. Kate Omenua, who at a very short notice allowed us to conduct the training. It equally takes somebody that has passion and wishes the people of Anambra State well. Without them, the 1,000 students and 1,000 teachers respectively wouldn't have been opportuned to come in contact with us and to learn from what the services were rendered. Thank you very much.